Hey guys, thank y'all for checking in. If you ever been stuck behind a tree, got to hook it around it. Stay tuned, let's find out how to do it. Welcome back everybody. Well today, like Aaron said, we're gonna talk a little bit how to shape a shot. There we go. Yep. Um, so in this scenario, if you, you know, hit it maybe a little left on the dog leg left and you have a couple of trees in front of you or whatever, um, how do you make that ball turn right to left? Yeah, let's hit a 99.9% a .9 of the time this golf ball is going to go left. How far? Maybe up in the air to you, but yep. it is going to be moving left. I want to see the Tiger Woods shot where he gets up here, drops it inside and literally has to like flail Spin a leg. Spin around. So yeah, obviously, so if you notice, we, uh, again, one of the benefits of being on a track man, we are on their virtual driving range. Yeah, go ahead and knock that back down to Zippo. So we're on their virtual driving range. Aaron moved us out to where we are behind some trees. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, so on your screen, you can see there's a little white pin just to the left of those trees. Over in the corner. Yep, and we'll, I'll circle it. But um, so that's obviously where we want to end up. How far out are we? Uh, 130. So 132. Obviously, you'd like to go for the to the green here. This is not the area where you want to just lay out to the right yeah, and then hit up again. I don't want to wanna... hit it. I don't want to hit it straight out in front of me and then have 120 in. I'd rather. I mean, right. worst worst case, maybe you got a bunker shot to get up and down from, but you've got a pretty. And you can see the aerial on there. You got a pretty wide open mm -hmm. spot there. Yep. Now, directly in front of us or in between us and the flag is it obviously doesn't look very tall from above, but it's a very large like pine tree. Right. And Aaron is aimed. A little to the be, right. Yeah, I'm gonna be aimed kind of at so the bunker. So there, just to get the straight on. So right there, you're aimed pretty much right at the pin. Mm -hmm. You can see, obviously, even now at 132 yards, is there a chance that if you get a bigger hitter, they can hit okay. a pitching wedge up and over? Sure, go for it. If that's if that's what you can do, great. Okay. Let's say there's a ton of wind in your face, or maybe we're a little closer or something, or that tree's a little bigger. Uh, so the purpose of this, we're gonna pretend that over the tree is not an option, obviously. Correct. Uh -huh. So uh, right out of the gates. Obviously, you're gonna have to aim right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we will aim right. So, um, so kind of two ways on say on track, man. So we're gonna we're gonna aim this straight at the flag, and then, you know, my the way I was way I was kind of taught like the easiest way I believe to hit a get a ball to move left um, is whenever I set up. Obviously, this would be straight down the line. Mm -hmm. And my easiest way that I've found to hit a big hooking shot or a, a slice for that matter, but I have a tree in front of me. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to set my feet to where the golf ball is going to start. That would be my start line I want it on. So I wanna set my feet to the right of the tree or the object I'm trying to hit around. Right, and if you think about it, two points on the toes of your shoes there, mm -hmm. if you draw a line and then and it continues on down line to your target. So that, that's what he's talking about when he says, essentially you're aligning your feet yep. right, right of target. So I've got or, my- if you're right in a player, that's a lot of times you'll hear professionals say, I want to be close to target. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the same stance. thing. Um, so I've got my feet lined up right of the object I'm trying to miss. So it's like my start line. I'm going to start the golf ball right of that. And then I'm going to put my club face at the flag where I want my golf ball to end mm -hmm. up. And then as I swing, so it's kind of goofy looking like this, but as I swing, I'm just swinging down my foot line. And so what I end up with is a crazy closed club face, right. like a very closed face to path um, in hitting it. So so again, we have not re-aimed the track man. It is pretty much at the pin. Straight at the pin. Feet are aimed right of the tree. Club face is aimed pretty straight down the line. Chip it out and there she goes. Yep. So there's obviously a lot of ways to shot. Hey. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, one thing that we're trying not to do, because obviously the chances of you guys having a track man in your house, yeah. slim to none. <laughs> so we are gonna try and leave this at dead aim at some point when we talk about the more natural way to do, I mean, obviously that's the easiest way because it's like cheating it. Yeah. Um, it's another way that I was first learned as a kid. If I wanted to hit a curvature in a shot, it was mm -hmm. to do exactly what Aaron, Aaron did. Obviously there's ways depending on how much Mm -hmm. um, typically with somebody that's a better player or faster club head speed, doing it that way makes it turn a lot. Very hard, very fast. You did not swing that very hard. No, <laughs> no. If you put speed on it, that golf ball is going to have an insane amount of side spin on Shoot. it. <laughs> spin axis will be... Right. Bow. 
So if for some reason we move the TrackMan screen, we will say it out loud. Mm -hmm. Please keep in mind that if we move the TrackMan screen, that's the equivalency of you taking a direct line slightly right or left of your target if you're out in the out in Correct. You know, nature. <laughs> yeah, out in the real world. So, um, what do we got next? Little disclaimer. So let's say, obviously, just for the fun of it, let's put a full swing on that. Let's, I mean, same thing. Do it at speed. So let's say your what club is that in your hand? This is eight iron. So eight iron for you is normally how far? 160. Okay. Yeah, 62. So let's say you're gonna go 160 and you were gonna do that exact same shot. You wanna leave it off to the right and bring it back around, mm -hmm. but in the manner you just did it. Okay. Do it, but do it with club head speed this time. Gotcha. I want you guys to see what exactly happens. So, so you're gonna aim club right. face, feet, aiming right. Yep. And oh, I didn't snap like I thought it would. Didn't but snap as much. I didn't swing that down my feet near as much. Gotcha. So Real quick in doing that, talk about your path real fast too, because obviously are you trying to take this in line? So there's two paths you could potentially take. Correct. You have straight back, straight through still, mm -hmm. or like you were talking about with your feet, uh, are you swinging on your feet angle at that point? Yes, exactly. So, so when I set up like this, you know, and I'm here, I'm not trying to swing it back straight down the line. I have set up and I am swinging it down right. my foot line, which so, is throwing that if you think of head over. from this camera view, if you think of your target line here, mm -hmm. on his takeaway, it's going to be much more inside than he's used to. Correct. I'm so again, if it's of... here, yep, it's more of a traditional takeaway. The problem is whether where his feet is. So if you look at him here, if we were even further there, obviously everything's on this plane now. So now he's shifted his target from here to here. So everything on the swing plane is also shifted. Yeah, and I'll be coming in this yep. direction. Otherwise that club known as face is almost pointed severe over into here. out with a shut club face. Yeah, that is producing so, max left. Well, let's say now you have a similar shot, but maybe mm -hmm. you don't need it to be as drastic. Okay. You just want it to kind of curve around it just a few yards and then land nice and soft. So everything in that shot shape type that you just did is is severe. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about something that just kind of falls left or a little baby draw. Mm -hmm. um, so more of a full swing shot. You're not trying to hood it. You're not trying to do any of that other stuff. Yep. You just want this to move a little left of target. Mm -hmm. So same kind of deal. I've got it set up here. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be pointing my feet way off to the left. I'm really on this one. I'm going to be looking for more of a in to out swing. So I just get kind of a push and a fall rather than a Right, big swinger. Slinging, slinging rope left. Correct. Um, so my goal on this one is going to be to get a little bit more from the inside mm -hmm. to push push that ball out. And then you get the ball that kind of falls. And it's going to have a little less spin on it just sure. because your ball moving right to left has a little less spin. But right. uh, it shouldn't like right. hit and take off. So the biggest thing in the very first swing you did is you're affecting path and face. Mm -hmm. Now you're just affecting path more so than face. Is Correct. that a safe assessment? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna be using a whole right. bunch of hands and stuff like that. And I mean, to be honest, this ball, kind of more what I would be looking at is a ball that starts just kind of, just really kind of barely right of that tree. Like right. it's gonna be playing it probably a lot, a lot closer to the, to the edge. And you can tell that does not turn anywhere near as much, more of a traditional shot shape. Mm -hmm. um, I say that, more of a traditional flight. Yes, yeah. So it's not as not low with that swinger, yep. Low ripper. And a really good thing, if you do have access to a track manner, you're in the area and you wanna come use theirs, something we talk a lot about in the shaping of shots is spin axis. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you think of a golf ball, and I'll just cheat and grab one. So if you think of a golf ball, and that very first one you did, and if it needs to move for you guys, it's this way, that spin axis, if that's dead straight, is going to be like, it's gonna be, I don't bend that way, sorry. Yeah, it <laughs> it's going to be like over there. Laid over. Yeah, it's going to be a, a double digit number to the left. Mm -hmm. um, that one he just hit might have been like a two. Yeah. Um, not much to the left. So I like to talk in terms of spin axis because it kind of helps you with cause and reaction. Yeah, mm -hmm. how the golf ball goes. And, um, you know, again, that, that kind of stuff. I mean, yes, we're simulating this, but the way TrackMan tracks a golf mm -hmm. ball and stuff that you're seeing now and camera angle, or not camera angle, but how they um, change ball flight throughout it, you can get more of that natural like push and fall yes. rather than some of the other ones and some other things where it's just like takes off straight and then 
dives. You can't ever get, yeah, you can't ever get that golf ball to push or pull the yeah. direction that you want. And he's talking about in simulated. In, yes, in a simulator. No, if you go outside, it's going to be what Obviously, it is. Yeah, so. you push it, you push it. Um, but it's a great spot to practice, especially shots like this, because quite frankly, it takes a lot of swings to kind of perfect this. You know, we always talk about um, golf is a lot, picking golf shots on a golf course is like having a toolbox. Mm -hmm. And you have to develop those tools before you can use them. You're not just going to go grab a brand new drill and just go, yep, going to build a house now. Yeah, I can, I can go. Yeah. Yeah. You have to work on these things. This is a great, again, a great spot to do it. And you can very easily move all over right. this target practice range just by clicking a button as opposed to having to drive yep. all over a golf course. And not too many golf courses are going to let you just take a little basket of balls and go to hole number one and <laughs> drop it next to a tree and hit 40 golf balls into it and then drive over somewhere like it's... And if they say yes, their mate, their, uh, their greenskeeper's probably going to... Yeah. Have some steam coming out of his ear. Or you were paying a lot of money to be at that golf course for them to say yes to that. Shout out Shady Oaks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they probably don't care. But, um, so, yeah, if you're looking to to get that ball working left, it's kind of some of the things, some of the things to think about, some of the yep. kind of principles, a couple different ways to do it. Whether you're kind of just starting out and I just really need it to go left, there you go, go the first way. If you're wanting something a little more controlled, just kind of a fall, shout working on something on the second way. Yep, so practice it, try it, let us know how it goes. If there's something you're trying to work on in your game that you maybe haven't seen us film, let us know in the comments below. We Absolutely. will prioritize it. Right now, we're just picking stuff we think people wanna see. Mm -hmm. uh, if you tell us what you wanna see, we will make it much quicker. Absolutely. So get out there, get after it. Hope that helps you out. <laughs>